please be seated. At this time, I invite the children of the congregation to come forward for the children's message. Audrey, welcome. You're the first one. That's great. Come on down. Great seats are still available. You can just keep on piling down. You don't actually have to have a cushion. Yeah, it's not that hard. Wherever there you go. You're doing little brother. Perfect. That's great. Guys, today is Christ the King Sunday, and I need your help today. How many of you know what a king is? You ever heard of a king? Well, let me ask you this. What does a king wear? What does a king wear? Yes, sir. A crown. He wears a crown. And that's so that when everybody looks at the king, they all know he's the king, right? That's his hat. All right. What does a king do? A little bit harder. Yes, my dear. He rules. He's in charge, right? He's in charge. Now, when someone tries to attack this person's nation or kingdom, what does he do for his people? What is his job? Yes, sir. To protect them. Excellent answer. That's right. Now, that's what a king wears. That's what a king does. And that's how he acts out and he, he protects. He wears the crown. He rules. And he protects. Now, think about your God. Does Jesus wear a crown? Well, did he ever wear a crown? What kind of crown? Well, thorns, yeah. There could have been leaves on thorns, of course. But yeah, thorns, little pokey things to stick in the head. That was when he was dying on the cross. He did wear a crown. Well, is, does Jesus ever rule? Yeah, he rules. It's hard to see sometimes, but he's in charge. What about protection? Does Jesus ever protect you guys? Liam, how does he protect you? Do you know? I'm not sure. Well, what if there's a really bad storm out and it's starting to blow really hard and you can actually hear the wind? Like for the past couple of days, it's super windy. How does God protect you? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. You can pray to God. And that's the best thing. Do you think it was it was easy to go see a king? No. You had to stand in line. You guys ever have to stand in line to pray? No. You just fold your hands and pray. We do it every Sunday, of course, and hopefully every day at home. By all means, pray to God all the time. You don't even need your parents' help. You can pray. In fact, let's try it right now. Dear Jesus, we love you. You are our King. We thank you for dying on the cross and wearing that crown of thorns. We thank you for ruling over everything and being in control. We thank you for protecting us against things that we don't even know are coming and things that terrify us. Next time we're afraid, help us to remember that you are in control of all things. Amen. You're excused to go to your Sunday school class walking slowly. 